can to find a chain of four, and I want you to fold it up. Fold it up and then set it down, and I'll show you what I have on my camera when I do that, and I want you to see if you have something similar. So when you fold it up nicely and lay it down, what do you get? What do you get, Amit? You get um, a four square, but uh, I was wondering, what if you have only bead bars and not bead chains? Well, what can you do with your bead bars? If you don't have chains yet, what can you do with your bars? I could make them into the chains. You can do the exact same thing that I just did. Yep, you can just lay down four bead bars. So that was a really good question. So if I have a chain of four and I fold it up, um, it said it, I get a four square. It's a four by four square. There are four beads along the bottom, one, two, three, four, and four beads along the side, one, two, three, four. So I'm actually going to go ahead and write a ticket for those numbers. So again, there's four beads along the bottom. I'm gonna put that there and label it. And then there's four beads up the side. So I'm gonna put that right there. So that's a square of four. That's a square of four. How else can we pronounce that? Or how else can we write that? A square of four. Yes, Elia? Four by four. Oh, you're right. We can write it as four by four. That's exactly right. So four times four. How else can we write it, John? Um, well, we can write it by like, um, so four and then a tiny two up at the top. A four and a tiny two up at the top. So if you write a four and a tiny two up at the top, I love the way you describe that. What would we call that? How would we read it? How would we read it, Ariana? We would read it as four squared. You're exactly right. We would read it as four squared. So that tiny two, that's called an exponent. And what it means is when you see that exponent, it means you're taking four times four. So four squared means you're taking four times four. It's a four by four square. So four by four squared. What is four times four? What is four squared equal to? Amit? 16. 16, it's equal to 16. And I bet you all knew that. So that's what we're going to work on is we are going to work on making our squares with our bead chains or our bead bars labeling them, and then also knowing what they're worth. For example, what's a five square worth? What's a five square worth? Yes, Sarush. Oh, he, he chatted. Five squared is worth 25, good. So a five square means you're taking five times five equals 25. What do you have to do when you have a six squared? A six squared. Erin, what do you have to do there? It's thir um, 36. It's 36, but what do you have to do to figure out 36? In a six square. In a six square. What do you have to do? What math problem do you have to really set up for yourself? Six times six. You're exactly right, six times six. So you all, this is a fantastic opportunity to make sure that you know all of your squares from one squared all the way through 10 squared. Because as we get into more and more complicated math, you're really going to want to be able to access that pretty quickly in your head. So this is a chance to kind of quiz yourself even. Say to yourself, what is one squared? What's two squared? What's three squared? And you can do that as you work through all of these materials. Now, you all are doing pretty darn well here. So I have an additional challenge for you. So I want you to pause what you're doing right now, and I just want you to watch. So there's something really beautiful that you can make, and this is, again, a chance to just get into the materials and spread out on the floor and really have a good time with them. What I want you to do is I want you to work on labeling your one 
square. And I want you to go all the way down from your one chain to your 10 chain. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a one chain. I'll show you on the camera in a second. And then you're going to have your one square next to it, which what is one squared equal to? Show me with your fingers. Yeah, one. <laughs> and you're gonna do the same thing then. You're gonna take your two chain and you're gonna put your two squared, your two square, I'm sorry, next to it. And then you're gonna take your three chain and you're gonna put your three square next to it. And you're gonna go all the way through 10. And what I hope you can do is I hope you can take a picture or maybe even draw it or paint it or do pastels or some sort of work of art to show what it looks like at the very end. Now I'm gonna share my screen with you. And you can see I've started setting it up on my mat, on my camera. And it's very strange, guys, but the two chain is what color? Look at your two chain and tell me what color it is. Um, let's see. Yes, Cassin, what color is it? It's blue. Look at your two chain. Okay. Um, Not, yeah, your two chain. What color is it, Elia? It's green. It's green. Does it look blue to you on my screen? Yes, it looks blue to me as well, which is it totally, like fine. it's totally freaking me out. I have no, yes, it looks like a fly. I have no idea why it's coming up as blue. I'm sure I just need to play around with the lighting, but I don't want to confuse you all because it, it is in fact supposed to be green. But here's what you're going to do once you get everything laid out. Then you're going to write it all out, just like I showed you with the four square. So what she would write, let me go ahead and do the four square since that's the one we were working on. You'll have your chains and you'll fold them up and then you'll have your square and then you're gonna put out the labels, okay? So what's one of the ways that we can say this. What's one of the ways that we went over that we can say it? Raise your blue hands. Let's see. Um, what's one of the ways, John? Um, four by four. Four by four, exactly. So that's what you can write down. You can write down next to it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it on top. You can write down four by four. What's another way that you can write it? What's another way that you can write it? Raise your blue hands. Yes, John. Um, four squared. Four squared. And then you can also write the answer. So Isabel, what is four squared equal to? 16. 16, 16. So you're going to put all three of those labels next to your beautiful line of squares that you're gonna make. So you'll do your chain first, then you'll do your square, and then you'll do your labels. You'll write it out as a square, you'll write it out as a math problem, and you'll write it out as an answer. This four chain's driving me nuts. So I'm gonna try to fix this. All right, so I'm gonna stop my share and see if you have any questions.